Welcome back, everybody. Parenting is challenging and it is frustrating, and that's why ABC4 News at 4 has teamed up with Donna Tetro for our Monday and Friday conversations called Kids Under Construction. It's a time for Donna to help us all be better parents. She's joining us from LA via Zoom, and also joining us today is director and writer Amy Koppelman. Her latest film, A Mouthful of Air, is right now in select theaters, and let's uh, take a little sneak peek. I made it. Can you just tell me a little of the story? Okay. The story is called Pinky Tinkerbank Saves the Stars. Pinky Tinkerbank and her mommy were best friends. Morning. <laughs> they went to the park together, played dress up together. Then one day, Pinky's mommy got sad. Every night before bed, Pinky would wish on a star. Hello, Miss Davis. Can you tell me what happened? But little by little... Julie, hey, it's okay. It's okay. The stars were starting to disappear from the sky. There was nothing left for her to wish upon. Uh, so, Amy, you have walked this road. Talk about your journey. I wrote this novel in 2003, around 20 years ago, um, after I had given birth to both of my children. And I think in retrospect, 20 years later, I realized now that I was writing through the fear of what if I hadn't gotten the help that I needed. And, um, you know, we talk about postpartum depression, and that's one out of every five women have postpartum depression, um, which can happen to you even if you've never had any kind of depression before. Uh, but it's also just very, very scary to be a mom. And, you know, you have this little baby and it comes out and it looks at you and it thinks that you know all the answers and it's your job to take care of this baby and protect it, this baby. And it's, it's just very, very scary. And I think that we don't talk about that enough. Um, I think people talk about it much more than they did the, than when I was a young mom. But I think we're still reticent to talk about how scared we are and how um, unprepared we feel uh, to be a mom. There's a real sense of shame in that. And so I thought it was important to write about that shame um, and hopefully be able to, uh, you know, start the conversation or, you know, widen the conversation so that, you know, when we're talking about you know, when the baby rolled over and how old the baby was when it sits up that we also stop to say, well, how are you feeling or how are you doing? And that that becomes a question from mother to mother that we compare notes on, you know, not just potty training. And talk about the signs of postpartum depression for other moms. What really should they know? Yes, I, I hope that people go to it and they see themselves in it. And um, it's a cautionary tale. It's for me, the happy ending is for the person who sees the film and goes and gets the help that they need. I hadn't thought about making this a movie until one day I was driving down the West Side Highway in New York City and a woman called in and she was crying. She called into Doctors Radio um, or some show like that. And she was saying you know, how scared she was and she was scared something was gonna happen to her baby. And she was scared that she didn't know how to be a good mom. And I had thought you know, by that time, that everybody knew about postpartum depression. And the doctor on doctor's radio said, you know, you should ask for help. This is what's going on. And she said, I can't, I can't possibly, you know, tell my partner, I can't, she couldn't speak to a pediatrician. She couldn't speak to her doctor. She couldn't speak to her priest. And so I thought, wait, she doesn't know about this. And, you know, if I can try to reach even one person, Amanda and I both thought if we could actually help even one woman know that the best thing that she could do for her children is to get help and to get better and, you know, to not take her life. You know, that's, that's all we could possibly hope for. We would feel a huge sense of success. Um, so, you know, we, we also hope, you know, sometimes it's very hard to speak to the person that you love and explain how you're feeling. And so um, we know from people who have seen the movie, you know, if they take, their partner with them or their mother with them, um, they can say this, this puts into, this is able to show you what I can't find a way to put into words. 
Amy, so beautiful and such an important conversation, and we so jo appreciate you joining us today. Amy Koppelman, her latest film, A Mouthful of Air, in select theaters right now. Amy, thank you so much for joining us. Donna, as always, thank you for joining us. We do want to remind everyone at home that Donna's podcast, Kids Under Construction, is waiting for you right there online at abc4.com. Thanks to both of you.